Ladies and gentlemen, Barry the Mule Mavros here. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another 8 Ball TV Billiards Bar presentation. We are featuring tonight uh, finals of the Pan Cypriot event hosted in my club recently, and uh, we're we're featuring Anthony Brabham versus Gimonas Mioteri. So away we go. And Gimonas scratches off the bat, giving Anthony Brabham a ball in hand. For all of you out there who play 8-ball or who don't play 8-ball, 8-ball is played with 15 racks of balls. You have uh, 7 stripe balls, 7 spot balls, and uh, you need to run your own balls off the table first, and then pot the black last in the nominated pocket. Giving a ball in hand to a player such as Anthony is usually a recipe for disaster. Anthony Brabham, Australian snooker champion a gazillion times, one of the most talented players that we have here in Cyprus. Also the fastest player we have in Cyprus. He, he, he looks like a, a, a... When he plays, I've, I've called him in the past the Speedy Gonzalez of Cyprus, the Earl Strickland of Cyprus. Today I'm going to call him the Ferrari of Cyprus. The guy is so fast. And when he plays Paul and, he, and when he wings racks, I like to say that Anthony beats you painlessly. He beats you quick and it doesn't hurt it as much. It's like a pitting off a band-aid really quick. I mean, it hurts a bit, but not as much as some pills off slowly. He's also one of the most um, enjoyable players to watch. We have featured a few of his matches already on our site playing 9-ball. And he's, uh, wow. Hey, look at this, he's just run a rack of balls in under 55 seconds. That's amazing. He thinks quick, he talks quick. He's just quick. And a dry break here from Anthony. Chance to see uh, Gimonas approach the table. Gimonas, uh, one of the up and coming stars of the game here in Cyprus. He is uh, a very, very good 8 ball player, 9 ball player, 10 ball player, very good strategist, solid player, very good under pressure, which is one of his biggest attributes. And uh, another one of his biggest attributes is a very good planner. He likes to plan the balls very well. I remember the very first time I met Gimonas was in a tournament about a year and a half ago and he beat me in the semi-final nine racks to eight and when I got home my wife was like hey why are you so happy you just got beat in the semi-final I'm like yeah I, I got beat by what got beat by this really good looking bloke she goes really yeah, yeah. it's a good looking guy he looks exactly like Enrique Iglesias <laughs> look at him looks like Enrique Iglesias <laughs> so yes we're playing a best of 13 uh, which is a race to seven. The the prizes are two tickets to go overseas. Well, I, I, sorry, I believe three tickets to go overseas to represent Cyprus on the Australian on the Cyprus national team. Um, and we'll be we'll be featuring the the matches uh, on our site as they come along. This is I believe in the top six bracket, and it's on the loser side of the pyramid. So that means that whoever loses this match packs their bags and goes home. The winner progresses to the top five. And every rack of eight ball, if you do play eight ball, you realize it's like a big puzzle. And it looks like Gimonas has solved this puzzle. One follow shot here to leave himself the black in the top corner. And he's home and hosed. Lovely kiss there on the two. Bit far from where he wanted to be, but you know what? It's a straight ball, and Gimonas is a very good pot. I back him to pot this. 99 times out of 100. Nice shot there, Gimonas. Time is now 4 a.m. We just closed the store. It's a Wednesday night. I just had a couple of cold ones. We've got another cold one sitting right here. Nice cold beer. We drink Carlsberg here in Cyprus, and it's a really nice beer. If you're at home right now, pause the video, get some popcorn, get a blanket, pull it over your feet, get a pillow, put it behind your head, relax, enjoy some nice pool. Ooh, an unexpected overcut ball there from Gimonas. He's not happy with himself there. Not a ball I expect Gimonas to miss. Tables we're playing on tonight, guys, the Dynamic Olympic 2 second generation tables. They're very, very good tables. They're professional 
pool tables. The pockets are four and three eight inch pockets, very very tight pockets, and they're the same tables that they play the pro European tournaments on. So if you can run a racket balls here, you can run a racket balls anywhere. It's a very tight, very difficult table to play on. I know these guys make it look easy, but if you've got some time and you live in Limassol or anywhere in Cyprus, actually come on down to my club and have a go. Actually, try to break open the one and the five there, and now he hasn't. And this is what I'm saying. I'm in uh, eight ball. Anthony is by far, in my opinion, the best cueist we have here in the whole island. His cueing and his potting and his position are amazing. Sometimes, though, I believe he lacks the planning. And he, that's, I, I, he, he plays really, really quick. He thinks quick. He, he maps it out quickly. And when the balls are open, it, it's very easy to run the balls. When there's a bit of work to be done, when it's time to open up balls and play safety stuff, I believe it, he take because he sees the game. He's such a, such a great player. He sees the game so easy for him to pop balls. And he gets away with things that other players wouldn't because he can move the ball around so well. If he just played an extra 5% attention to to breaking up balls, I believe he'd be un unstoppable in here. And now he's given opportunity, given us to come back to the table. Oh, these are the type of shots that, yeah, these are the type of shots that can get sped out if you're not careful. It's Anthony here. Another opportunity. I've played Anthony a number of times. I love playing Anthony. I love playing him. He's such a great player. Every time I play him, I learn something. I learn how bad of a player I am. <laughs> He's such a good great player. He makes it look so easy. And I like it when I see him taking his time like this. I believe he plays his best pull when he thinks more. Attempted a very tricky cut shot there. Give us a bit long on this next ball. Should be okay though. I said in the past. Oh, great shot there from Gimonas. Great shot, Gimonas. We said in the past that eight ball is the hardest game to commentate on, basically because at home it's hard sometimes to separate the stripe balls from the spot balls. I'll do my very best to um, point out the different balls and the and what pattern play they're going with. And uh, I'll do my very best I can to give these players justice because what they're doing out there, I mean, they've been playing for two days now. There's six players left. And it, it, people do get tired. I mean, sometimes we miss a ball here and there in the tournament. You're like, how, how could Barry miss that? I hear that my customers say this all the time. Barry, how can you miss that? See, you play this ball a hundred times. Well, there's a combination of things. You could have fatigue, you could have uh, pressure. You could have a lack of focus sometimes, just because you've been playing for so many hours. You might not be physically tired, but your your mind can get tired. And uh, this this particular sport, eight ball, um, uh, pool in general, eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, it, it needs a combination of uh, talent, uh, preparation, uh, knowledge, but also physical fitness and mental fitness. Mental fitness is um, something that uh, can be affected by physical fitness as well. If you've got a weak body and you get tired playing three, four sets a day, then that will also affect your mind too. When am I talking about this? I just want to put another factor, another put, shed some light on some of the things that go through when you're playing competitively. Plus, when you're playing with a very strong opponent in a peak, in a pressure situation, sometimes you can maybe squeeze the cue a bit more than you want to, or you may um, you you may feel your heart beating. In a, in a press situation, about to win a match. There's a lot of factors that go on. I take my hat off to the top players around the world, to all the pros that I watch play. You know, these guys really have got everything down pat. They're really focused on doing what they have to do. And, and they're real, true champions. And I believe it's a real sport. It should be in the Olympics one day, too. That's how I feel about it, and I'm sticking to it. 3-1 here for Gimonas. That's straight in, my man. Excellent break from Gimonas. Made a ball. 
in the middle pocket, or did he? Did he make a ball in the middle pocket? No, it's a dry break. Same things. I don't see a problem area in this rack. All the balls are completely wide open. It's the kind of racks that Anti loves to play. Gotta be a little bit careful though. He's got rid of that seven ball nicely. Get himself a very good angle on the one to get himself back down for the three with two rails. Top left hand side here. Not enough left. Kiss of love there on the balls. I always call it kiss of love. When, when you kiss a ball and it works out great, it's kiss of love. When you kiss a ball and you're snookered, it's a kiss of death. <laughs> oh, this game is really muttering along very nicely. Very quickly. It's 3 1. Soon to be 4 1, I believe. In under 11 minutes. Wow. I'd like to say a very special shout out and a very special thank you to my wife Sasha who uh, takes the time to edit the, to film and edit these videos and makes it very easy for me just to press record and do the live commentary that I do now. And as you all know at home there's only one thing I like more than playing pool that's commentating on pool. Because from up here I can't miss a ball. <laughs> And also a very big special shout out to my friend, um, to my friends in Australia, predominantly Jonathan Kalija, and of course my man. Oh, good shot there! Great shot there from Anthony. He had to play a shot there after the balls. And of course, of course, my man Kimpton. Sorry, Kimpton, I got carried away watching Anthony play there. Kimpton Cress and Dan Lynch for putting up this video on their website and to promote the sport. I really appreciate it. Miss all you guys very, very much. Looking forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Oh. Opportunity for Gimonas to stretch his lead by two racks. And pull is a funny sport. Eight pull is a very difficult game to play. A lot of my customers said to me, Barry, our oh, eight ball is an easy game to play. You got all these balls to choose. Well, you know what? It's not just about choosing balls. You got to plan the balls carefully. Pick a finishing ball. Have your worker balls. Uh, finishing balls. Run the patterns properly. Make sure you get on the black right. A lot of things are played. Like right now, Anthony went first. He put four or five balls, and he's just opened up the whole rack now for Gimonas. Gimonas only has one problem ball here, and that's the 15. The 15. Is blocked by the closest pocket by the seven. You can use the 14 ball in the future to uh, get on that 15 nicely, or in this particular case, nudge it. We didn't nudge it. No. 14 though is in a very good position though. This is what I'm talking about. Eight ball needs very careful planning. Also, like to say a very special thank you to Gulis uh, Rushotis and Mamas Kirigopoulos, who are the president and vice president of our uh, federation here in Cyprus who allow us to film these matches and feature them on our site and uh, really they do a lot for the sport they work very very hard and uh, I, I like to help them out as much as I can if, if when I can with and as all the shop owners do we help them out with by allowing people to run tournaments in our clubs and we support the players as much as we can difficult shot here for Kim on us oh Tough shot there from you on us. I don't know if that was the right shot to play right there. Well, I see a safety shot here behind the three using that five ball. That's what Anthony does here. Plays a safety. I love safety racks. But it's great to watch players clear, clear tables non-stop, but safety battles are excellent as well. I mean, what do you do here for you, Anthony? 
Black balls. Cut up by the 13 to one the one pocket. Is he calling? He's playing the combination. The five in the corner. Oh, this guy's got. What a great shot! That's a great shot. Scratching his head. <laughs> what do I do here? Thinking, what do I do here now? Pull off another great shot? Yes, you are Anthony Brabin. You're allowed to pull off as many great shots as you want, mate. That's <laughs> another great shot. Now, if the black ball pots in the same pocket as the seven, yeah, I believe it does. It's gonna be three or very, very soon. Top right hand spin. One, two rails. Great shot. Three all. That one, Gibonas, I believe, was your frame to win. You'll be watching this very soon, and you'll be like, yeah, Barry, maybe you're right. 15 ball down the rail was a toughie. Whenever I play 8 ball, I like to... I mean, like, like I said, I'm not. I'm never said I'm the greatest player in the world. I'm never, never going to say that, because I'm not. But um, I, what I like to do, this is my personal thing, I like to plan the balls very carefully, and as soon as I get to the table, I straight away look for my problem balls. I think to myself, hey, can this rack be run? Are the balls open enough? Can they all be run? They all go into a particular pocket. Is there a finishing ball I can use for the black? And if, the, if that's the case, then yes, I'll run the ball straight away as soon as I can, to the best of my abilities. If I see that I have a problem ball somewhere, which is a, it's a ball that uh, only goes to one pocket, can I use a ball close by to get onto that ball? So I'll plan to get those balls out of the way first, the hardest balls first. If I have closed balls, I think straight away, hey, can I open up these closed balls using a ball close by? And if I can't do any of those things and I can't open up the rack, then what I'll do is I'll pop one or two balls and stuff up the balls for my opponents. <laughs> I don't know if that's what Ralph Suquet or Efren Reyes would say, but um, that's how I play pool and that's how I play pool. It's served me very well in the past. Anthony's going to get the four ball out here. Lovely shot there from Anthony. And again, he's got to get that four ball out again with a bit of bright. Oh, it's a great shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it just stopped. <laughs> I love watching Anthony's facial expressions when he plays pool. He's so animated. These little smiles and his little cocks his head to the side. I'm doing that right now as I'm talking. Shot, Anthony. Four racks to three. Head ball break. I want to quickly talk about the head ball break. Everyone in Cyprus has been head ball breaking. They break power breaking off the head ball. I'm the only person here that does a second ball break. And I believe that the second ball break on a quick table such as this is fantastic. You don't need to power the balls too much. You usually make the wing ball to the corner pocket and you've got 15, 14 other balls to land on and play. It's awesome. There's a lot of people dry breaking over the weekend, giving them just power breaking and using so much energy to break. You're thinking, wow, you're playing for a whole weekend and you're using so much energy to break. You guys have been so fit. Whenever I'm playing pool, I'm trying to conserve as much energy as possible. And I, and I really think the second ball break in the eight ball, quick tables like this is amazing. Well, Anthony. Anthony Brabant here. Oof. Mr. Combination Shop. Mr. Combine. And fortunately for him, he hasn't left Kim on us anything easy at all. You have given us no shot. No shot that I can see anyway. So given us is very mature, he's taking his time, he's thinking, okay, I don't really have a shot on. How can I play a good safety here? Or how can I play a progressive shot? Something that can put me in control when I leave the table. He doesn't have a shot here. No shot I can see is if he comes off thin off the one, comes off one, two rails behind the six. But even that, you chance it to luck because you don't get behind that six. Anthony's going to run out. So what is Gimonos going to do here? Overball situation. 
he he opened up his own balls. But uh, still allowing Anthony a chance to attack. Anthony very cleverly played for both balls there. Do you notice that? Played the combination, he also played for both balls, but he's taken the combination. Taking the 14 again. This guy's not afraid to with his wipe around, is he? No fear. Oh, Anthony. Hey, taking that ball earlier, that wouldn't have happened. Gimenos, by the way, is also one of the funniest guys you'll ever meet. He's so funny. Typical Capricorn. Capricorns are the funniest people on the planet. So, very simple but effective safety shot. That's what I'm talking about. Gimenos, I believe, once he gets, if he gets involved in the strategy battle and the safety battle with Anthony. Oh my goodness! What the. Oh. Shot Anthony. Man, how do you play safe against a guy who's a bloody genius, man? The guy's a genius. He's going to swing around his chair. Look how animated Anthony is. He's swinging around his chair. He's happy now. He just pulled off a fantastic shot. Anthony, you just pulled off a Houdini, my friend. A Houdini. Great escape there. One rail made the ball, got position on the black and pot the black. Well, this rack here doesn't run very well. Those balls are closed. Shot away Anthony played a power shot to open up his balls. From where the balls are laying right now, it's very hard for Anthony to finish off the rack here. And one of the worst things you can do in 8 ball is pot 3 4 balls and miss. It's the oldest 8 ball hustle alive. All of you watching from Limassol, I'm Barry Mavros, Barry the Mule Mavros. I own the 8 Ball Billiards Bar here in Limassol. And uh, we open seven days a week. We want you guys to come down, shoot some pool, have a cold beer. There's lots of guys. Oh, great shot there, Anthony. He moved all three balls with one shot and didn't touch a rail. It's a foul. That's a foul. Is it a foul? He moved all three balls. Did he touch a rail? No, I wasn't really watching. Oh, I'd love to take the video back now and watch it, but I can't stop it now that we're watching it. I always do all the videos one straight go. I don't like to watch it before I comment on it. I don't like to stop. I just want to go once through. And I, I really want to put that video back to see if he touched a rail. I don't think he did, though. He moved all three balls with one shot and didn't find a rail. Gimonas, with his opening shot, should really open up that black ball. Oh, Mr. Pot. Stretching. I think if he gave himself more angle there, it would be a lot easier for him. He wouldn't have to power the ball so much. Anthony doesn't care though. He's happy. As this uh, black ball goes past, the 15 ball goes past the black. It should be 6 3 very soon. Oh. Very far from his ball. Yeah, very far from the ball, playing top right hand spin. And again, Gimenez has to play safety here. It'd be madness to go for a long range pot here when you've got a nice safety here behind. Just tap the two ball and stick the white ball behind the yellow and green. That's nice. Go on, Anthony, can you pull off another Houdini? Guys, if he does this as well, if he pots his 14 and gets the blackout, I'm going to start screaming and crying like a little girl. 
that was a tough shot. Tough shot, tough situation to be in, and now Gimenez is going to reap the benefits of a very, very well planned and very easily executed safety shot. But had he gone for a shot there, it wouldn't have worked out so well. So excellent shot selection there from Gimenez. Again, he's got the angle now to break up that black ball. Maybe that black ball passes. Gimenez is deceptively quick. He's a deceptively quick player. He doesn't waste time either. Shot. Now, if this black ball passes, which I believe it does because he hasn't broken it out, what he's going to do is just land and give himself a half ball angle on this one. And he'll get nicely on that black. talking about these tables are very tight very tight tables and uh, you really have to pop very clean to get those balls in I see a very good safety shot here from Anthony behind the black but he's not taking it he's taking a bank shot left hand side Starting to run out of beer here. Someone give me another beer, please. Shot from Gim on us. Very nice. So, if all you guys at home, what's your favorite game? Is it 8 ball? Is it 9 ball? Is it 10 ball? Please send us a message. Please send. It. Thank you. Please give us a comment underneath. Um, on our on our site, or you know, let us know what you prefer playing: eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, straight ball, Philadelphia. Whatever your favorite sport, whatever your favorite game is, let me know. And also, if you guys at home have got any videos of your own matches you played in a local club tournament, in the final, or the quarter final, whatever it is, it's a great match you feel that's uh, in a format that we can use. Please send it to Barry the Mule at hotmail.com, and we'll do our very best to edit it and uh, commentate on it and then cast on our side as well. We want people sending videos from the Philippines, from uh, America, from all of Europe to us and we'll gladly put it on our side. Any professionals out there want to send us a quick one or two minute video uh, of, a, of a tip that they've got, a pro tip or a drill that they do at home or even not a professional, just someone who's a keen, um, uh, keen um, guy that studies the sport wants to give us a video, send us one here and we'll see if we can use it and put it up on our site. Send it to Barry the Mule at hotmail.com and uh, we'll do our very best to um, feature it. Score is now five racks to four. We've passed that halfway rack, halfway mark where I've always noticed uh, there's a lot of tension halfway through a match. We get the match the first couple of racks, you know, people start to settle down, they get into it. And now it's let's see who closes off this match the best. I found it with myself that I start the matches off very, very strongly and sometimes I have trouble finishing them off. Other times I start the matches off slowly and I finish them off very strongly. Sometimes I just play awesome matches that finish start and finish well and sometimes I just play matches that can't start at all. It's like an engine without any oil. This man right here, the fastest player in Cyprus. Should be sponsored by uh should be sponsored by something that, that something quick. Should be sponsored by Red Bull actually, this guy. <laughs> Shot Anthony. Anthony should be sponsored by Red Bull or by Shark. Which are energy drinks here in Cyprus, because the guy just 
<laughs> so good. You and I should be sponsored by some kind of fashion clothing. It's like a model, this guy. Off the bat, that four ball is tied up between two balls. He's going to get play very good position to get on that four, or else he can't run this rack. Just attempted to move him there. It hasn't worked out too good for him. So Kimonas needs to come up with a good safety shot here. He's planted that white ball in the corner. And he smells the ball on. He shoots. He's opened up all the balls. So all given us is to do now is play a very good position and get these balls out of the way. Because all these balls are open now. He doesn't really have a great opening shot. I guess the three balls all he can play. And lands naturally on the four. The follow. He sees the shot. Nice. Speed control. Just there. Play for the six here. The angle was so thin it couldn't hold for the one. And now, it's a really good shot here on that one ball. Lots of follow here. There. Big shot here. If he misses, game over. He's got to make this ball and get on the black. Excellent shot. That's the best shot we've seen tonight. An excellent shot. Come on, give one us. Wow, this guy's great under pressure. Six racks to five. In the race to seven. Playing for a spot to go overseas. On the line here. Got an open table here. Oh, but Kim has missed his opening ball. The only two balls that are tied up are the 10 and the 3. And they're easy to open because you've got the 5 ball near the 3 and the 4 ball near the 3, so... Spots would be the logical choice, but they didn't have a shot on him, so he's gone for the stripes, and he can open up the 10 using one of those middle balls, so... That's what I'm saying, Anthony just works out things so quickly. This shot's all about opening up that 10 ball. Nicely done there from Anthony. Now, give himself nicely on that pink 12. Could be the frame winner, could be the match winner. Just a little roll shot here. Oh, where's he going with the white ball? Where's he going with the white ball? That ball they just potted now was the perfect ball to use to get on that 12 to finish with. Now he's going to play something extraordinary. And Anthony. Like I said earlier, he's so good at plotting and position play. He gets away with things that a lot of players can't. 
Nice shot there from Anthony. Wow. Come on, buddy. Two more balls to go. Oh, it's not the greatest of position for shots. Gonna take this up the top corner. Excellent shot there from Anthony. Thank you. I'd like to thank the players for playing and letting us film them. I thank you guys at home for watching, and we'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now.